What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Ray Shadow Legends. Today, we're going to be doing some shard pulls. Right now, they have an event going on. I'm going to show you what the event is. Right now, you have targeted champion boost. It would be nice if it actually had um, shard boost too with it, but since it's just a targeted boost, I'm going to go ahead and pull. But I'm not going to do ancients because the ones that are from ancients aren't really ones that I want. I really want the ones that are from voids. So, and also the voids is gonna give you a better chance. So I have two void shards right now. We might pull the, the single ancient and just leave it at 10 for the ancient shards, but we'll see. But yeah, actually we might do that too. But let's look at these characters. Also they got a guarantee on this, but 110 void shards, we're nowhere. I mean, we don't have nowhere near that. I'm free to play this early, so. We're not even worried about that. So right now, 10 chance on voids. Madam Saris, one of the coolest, um, baddest <laughs> support characters out there. Uh, she has a fear on A1, uh, A2. She attacks all enemy, places a block debuffs on there. Uh, Oh, and True Fear, I see that debuff. Then she got Remove All Buff from Enemies and place a Decrease Attack and Decrease Defense. So that's really good, the Decrease Defense is. And decrease Attack too, because it'll keep you from taking damage if she's on team, like in Arena. Then we got Stagnite, who has Decrease Speed. A decrease defense, decrease defense debuff and attack. They got a passive right there. So it's like a lot of these characters have decrease defense debuff. Yeah, Miss Rider died. The Dany. He's one of the new uh, clans, which is Sylvan Watchers. I didn't know this clan even existed until I started looking into the index. But back when I first started playing, this clan didn't exist. But I like his, I like his green outfit. It's kind of cool. But um, he has a 50 cent chance of removing debuff. I mean, removing buffs off of champions, which could be good in arena. And on his A2, he has uh, attacks all enemies and. Has a 75% 75 chance of placing a decrease debuff. So like I said, I'll have decrease, decrease defense debuff. And then he places an increased attack buff on his, on, only on himself on this one. So I keep this is kind of like a stem. And then we got Deacon Onshron, who is one of the super, super the codes right now. So if you starting the game and you want him, just instantly superpowers is your promo code and you'll get him. That's one of the new champion, new characters, rewards. But he has leech on his A1, decreased defense on his A2, and then his other one is I think is um turn me to feel. And then you got this girl over here. Ursula Warcaller, kind of a cool little Viking type lady. She's a barbarian, but she has a block active skills debuff. And see, like I said, this one has a decreased defense, decreased attack debuff, and ally protection, which is really, really good. Golden Guard decreases all damage. Uh, I'll just see it. So she's. Really protects the allies. That other pass, you gotta be a standard though. But that could be good too. <clears throat> so let's pull our first one, my ancient shard. Oh, hold on. Need to make some room. Let's go feed some stuff real quick. Um, let's go tap it. As you can see, my run is on 50. I'm finna take her to 40. And then Aethel's at 40. I'm still scrolling where I actually want to. I'm going to take 8th to the 50. But I don't know if I want to actually take B. Ronda. Let's see who we get here. We might take one of those characters. 
that we get to 60, but I'm not really sure yet. And Jizzo, he's going to be a little bit behind because I just got him, but we're going to be leveling him too. I've just been leveling a lot of food, so that's what we've mostly been doing. So I can try to take some of my 30s up and then take my 40s up like that. But that's the time consuming part about these games. Having to level the lower level units to actually, like, you know, get higher in the first place. Let's just do her real quick. Instead of feeding these guys to her. Oh, I'll put that one. Do that twice. I already did my mission for the day, so you don't see any mission pop ups really. Um, um, we ain't doing anymore. I think we don't need that many. That, that'd be fine. All right, there we go, guys. <sighs> All right. Nothing good there. An organ jailer. Wait, what do you got on him? Really good. Thought maybe he had a poison on him. He might be good for something though. We'll keep him. Alright, sorry for the cut there. I had to get some on my phone real quick. But uh, get these last one out the way and then you guys see what we got. Come on. A rare? You, you, you're giving me a rare out of a void shard? It's a void rare, I know, but come on, give me an epic rare void. <sighs> Centurion is supposed to be decent, though, I think. They increase defense, so he can be good for Arena, maybe. Come on. It's another rare, void rare, retainer. Retainer isn't good. Yep. No luck, guys. It's a decrease, def decrease. Defense buff, debuff, so he could still be good for something. As well as oh, counter attack? It's counter attack. Is he a lifesteal private person? Too bad I'm thinking about it. Yeah, he might be decent too. Well, for, for what we got. Anyway, guys, let's see if you had any better luck. If you're going to pull on this event or not. Like I said, I probably should have waited for. The actual shards themselves to have um, a buff up, but I'm trying to boost the account so maybe we can have an easier time time going through some of this stuff. But guys, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.